course, 315 games with the Kangaroos, and that's a nice palm down to Durham. A lot of talk about his pre-season. A couple of touches early as a midfielder. Drives it inside 50, and Sicily's given away a free kick. And that's a big win. Oh, yes. It's a massive win, too. He is a regular now as that small forward pressure player generally, but if he strikes him like that, he might become a goal kicker. How good, Luke. You've got to take your opportunities, like you said, early on. Oh, there's a ball. Oh, there we go. 84, 85. Shades of 84. Just strapped Dermot down. Someone quick. There's Dermot <laughs> coming in from the side. Eventually, McDonald got into the clear, as you could see. Newcomb short to Nash. It was the obvious target. Does he think he is? Ginnivan's going to be in the frame here, and he has taken the mark. And all those Hawthorne fans who were happy to boo this man when he was wearing a Collingwood jumper couldn't love him anymore now. <laughs> Look Welcome to the Hawks, Jack. Finds Guelph, who's had the better of Sicily in this first quarter. Now sees Stringer on the lead, Langford also. There's Stringer. He's probably got the journey at his very best. And they're not going to want to blast away. That's the way they've operated, unless he has a shot. Now he does pin the ears back. We've seen Stringer do this before. And he lets it fly from outside 50. Reed, and they're going by hand initially here. Out to the back from McGrath. He bounces the ball more than any other player in the comp, he did last year. Came to ground that time. And Warpaw is going to make him pay a very big price. Good to Moore. Ginevan on the lead. Oh, look at, at his feet. Tricky one. Oh, clever hands from Gunston. Saw Ward. His handball made it difficult for Moore, who's normally pretty good around the big sticks. First of the second turn. Umpire felt very kindly towards him on that occasion, Joey. Warple was able to turn and face goal. Danger level lifts. Child flies the pack and he's paid the mark. All the important <laughs> insights into key forwards. Yes. That's better. That's better. He's kicked one as a hawk. And you can see what it means to him. And the old boy, Toddy Goldstein, he faked like he was going to have a shot. He was always going to pop it. And Stringer was on the right page. McDonald's been productive. Joel again is the focus of plenty in front, Bruce. Ginevan. Yes, he's clear. And yes. <laughs> He still knows where they are. Again, they just don't want to pull the trigger long. McGrath shapes as if he does, and you can see why he's identified Peter Wright. It's better. But the short kick then enabled them to get it over yeah. the back, so it was, a, it was a good setup. He is a very big man. He can kick the ball a very long way. <laughs> over 50 metre, Peter, that time. Scrimshaw, Impey. There's length on the kick. Ginnivan He's given a couple of metres. He steadies and uses the left and channels it into Chol. One advantage for the Bombers. It didn't go out of bounds on the full. So it's a live ball inside their forward 50, but the Hawks have the numbers. And oh. Amon and has kicked the shank straight back to them. And it's going to be Perkins. Amassing the possessions. Jones in front. Love his time again at that one. It's Ambrosio. And again, this is Weddle. Hawthorne press. Moore. Oh, oh, got it. He captured it beautifully. And they retake the lead, the Hawks. Well, Essendon will win this centre clearance. Perkins involved again. Caldwell from 50 with a quick response. Goes bang. He's captured. Still kept it out, though. Through Nash to Ward. The setup complete. Bruised. Wants to make sure of it. His kick falls oh. short. So between them, the two veterans are going to get a goal. Aim on. Harry Jones on hands and knees. Tried to tap it into the path. Nash uses that size. Shark by Gresham. Got it to Perkins. He's been one of the Bombers' best. Can he kick two for the corner? And they keep responding at every opportunity. Chol thought about giving the handball receive, but Ward would have been running onto his right. So this time he gives it to Amon, who is running on his left, who's a beautiful kick of the footy. That's what he can do. Jake Stringer, he'll back his strength. He had to detour to find that right boot. Langford, awkward, Guelphy. Guelphy can't muscle his way clear. Umpire was forgiving, and Darren this time. He's able to take full tile, and look how pumped up he is. 
And that's why. D'Ambrosio, been one of the best, coughed that one up. A kick towards Langford, fourth fight. Yeah. Great concentration. Essendon fans feel a little better. Caldwell, Perkins, Gresham, can he get in on the act? A 55 metre bomber's bomb! Jade Gresham plays his part. I'm going to make a joke out of it, but they're the things you'll get better at. Sure. Darren Perkins is a stepladder for oh, Weddle. Jeez. <laughs> what about that? What about this grab? It's a great athlete, isn't it? Delta. For the margin on the scoreboard, that's where the damage has been done. Well, there's that little three-quarter kick towards Stringer again. Lurking in the backs, Langford had a quiet first half. Popped up with three in the second half. And he's turned into a little mini-match winner. He plays it along the wing. They've all played their part. There's been a lot of talk about what the future holds for Essendon. All that matters now is this season begins with a win and the evidence that the future could be bright.